welcome everybody to RimWorld, a war crime simulator where you can do terrible atrocities like turn a person into a dog and then give them a bed to make them embarrassed. Why not put a bag on your prisoner's head, steal their legs and then breed them for a tasty snack and relax at the end of the day by reclining on a giant brain covered in tentacles, eating a meal made of the finest fish fished up by your prison slave colony. What are we doing? <laughs> I've lost track of this series at this point. Oh, right, of course, we're being raided at this stage. Uh, so when we ended off as the final thing yesterday, we had the Gochabar Treaty approaching. We want to use sappers to turn around your defenses because they've heard, I would assume, of the very scary mutantite meteorite. So let's get, um, is everybody okay? We obviously, it's kind of the final proper thing we did yesterday. We fought the the mechanoids inside this ancient danger, which has given us a really fun little lab area, I guess. Um, the only problem with that is our people are still a little bit injured, so I'm going to be kind of careful about sending them into battle here. Robo Kid, we can't even use. But if we get here quickly, the turrets can deal with a lot of them, and then if they do come around, of course, we've got the sandbags as cover. And they are only medieval anyway, so I'm really not too concerned about this one, I don't think. Oh. Unless they do that, at which point that's very illegal. Robo Mummy, you are a, an unstoppable single person powerhouse. So I'm going to send you over there. And you can go and kill them as they go through onto the beach. Everyone else, uh, you should really have your turrets fire. <laughs> oh my god, that poor goblin. <laughs> wow, that's incredible. Um, how long have these things got? Well, they've actually got quite a fast fire rate for sniper turrets, huh? I think our people are going to be fine. Um, let's spread them out a little bit more. We might as well use the full, the full breadth of our... Sandbag area here trying to avoid too much too much doubled up fire. There we are. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna bring you up here so that we've actually got a much better A much better coverage. You know, if we're bringing them down there We have to wait until the right up here before our people can 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 shoot back Okay, very nice. Very nice. Let's see how we do here. It should be up. That's not ideal I didn't realize they blow up. That's my bad. Ah, there go all my turrets. Luckily, we got a pretty big refund 12 components really how many is it's built per each turret? Um, four. Oh. Yikes, that's that's bad. We lost uh, eight components there. That's really not ideal. Well, that was a fairly easy one. And, more importantly, we've got some people to take back with us. Oh, were they in two groups? Oh, they must have been. Oh, well. But we've got a couple more left, but this is going to be... It's going to be a fairly easy battle, I think. Nice work. Oh, they're still coming. Really? With a mountain of corpses? <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. Right, let's get this tidied up and then get them all dragged off to the prison. Welcome. Okay, capture away, Robo Mummy. Oh, the, the the Hellhounds are technically colonists, aren't they? So they can also capture. I never considered that. So I assume they're limited to just hauling because at the end of the day, they are of course uh, they are of course animals. But they they we can issue them orders because they're sentient. Well, that makes a lot of sense. That one even got upset. I don't know if you noticed that. That one actually got upset about the um about the the corpses being around. Oh, interesting. That's really cool. Our expert prison doctor team are on the squad. We've got an orc, a giant bear man, and then Robo Mummy wearing a dress of her enemies. This is incredible. Are they actually all going to survive this? Bleeding out in one hour. Come on, Cal. I put so much faith in you here. Ong or on Ong is is going to be okay as well, I think. Hey, they're probably going to be fine. And then we've got Kadar, who's doing okay. Um, Rumiak is bleeding out 0 0.4 hours. This person died, obviously, just as they got to the slab there, because I didn't even get a... Oh, there you go. Just got a notification then. Um, Rumiak 0.4. I think it's not like we're going to be able to save Rumiak, unfortunately. That's okay. I'm not really too bothered. The prison is very, very full. Um, we, we do have quite a sizable amount of prisons. I'm a little worried for a prison break, so I'm going to redesign things a little bit today. Um, can I see how many prisons we've got just kind of at a glance here? Prisoners. Oh, bloody loads. Wow. Shit. Um, right, let me go ahead and sort out of their schedules and work order, I guess. What is that? Hairy cheese? Why, 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 why? Cheese with hair. Why? Max satisfied title count countess. <laughs> what is hairy cheese? Oh, that's so good. I don't know how to get it. But my life's work now becomes very obvious. We have prisoners we can milk. And we have prisoners who are animals. We have all the components for hairy cheese. I just don't know how to make it. Um, okay, okay, okay. Hang on. It's got to be culinary, right? Culinary. And then, oh, God. Give me, give me the cheese. Hairy 
ha- Harry, Harry Cheese. Brother, I need my Harry Cheese. Uh, food condiments? We've got here condiment prep. Is Harry Cheese a condiment? <laughs> cheese making! Oh, this is the best mod I think I've ever seen. What if, for ultimate war crimes, we have a hotel? It's such a lovely place, but you can't leave. A hotel, right, where visitors turn up, we give them meals, they buy our things. What if the prisoners cook the meals out of other prisoners, things that leak out of other prisoners, and things produced by the body parts of other prisoners? And we give them their own little farm so they can spice it up a bit. Literally spice it up, because we have the condiments mod. So what I've decided to do, you're probably thinking, what, hydroponics? Maybe just let them sow an area? No, obviously we're going to build a prison farm out of other prisoners. That's ridiculous. We're going to liquefy prisoners, we're going to stuff prisoners, and we're going to turn them into our prison farm, tended to by other prisoners. Cheese making! <laughs> um, okay, okay, okay. Now let's talk about the hairy cheese. Uh, where do we put this? Um, I guess we'll just put it in the kitchen, if you can call it for that for the time being. Squad, corpse irrigators are very important. So I'll, I'll have to accept the corpse bollocks. These are important. I'm going to have you make the cheese maker, though, please, Zuck. And then I've also decided to, with the turrets, I've decided to recess them down a little bit and, and lengthen this by a block. That way we can have two rows of sniper turrets. We won't get a repeat of what happened last time, where one one blew up and took the others out. We've got a bit of a gap there. I'll put sandbags down, too, or barriers. Um, and we'll have this wall in the middle. Then if we want to take prisoners to the prison, we could just cut through here. Alternatively, I was thinking we could just cut through the base itself. The only problem with that, of course, if prisoners get down here, actually hauling them over, they'd have to go up here and through here and across here and up here into the hospital. Um, unless we have a triage center, like a temporary prison hospital before they move to... This isn't a prison. This isn't a prison. This is a luxury five-star hotel, okay, where they just have to work and can never leave. Um, but besides that, I mean, this is not really a prison. So we could have a little triage prison and then move them over when they're tended. And that's what we could do with this area, to be honest. I don't know it's going to make it into a hotel. Um, but a hotel where behind every hotel bedroom is a prisoner undergoing treatment for spurious war crimes is also pretty incredible. Lone, what are you doing? Moderate psychic drone. Lone's upset by the drone. Now Lone's upset because he's full of holes. That, my friends, is a lesson on perspective. There we go. Problem solved. Five hours after they peppered with a bloody chain shotgun. That's unbelievable. <laughs> oh. Okay, Dad Dad's on it. Dad Dad, save your robot child. Robot child? Uh, rabbit child. Sorry, they're, they're all starting to look the same a little bit. They're all starting to kind of blend together at this point. Okay, so what are we going to have them grow then? We've got, we've got rice fields going down right now. Um, I think heal root, like a prison only heal root is probably not a bad plan. That way dad dad can do some do some better work, you know. Keeping the prisoners alive is all that matters. I don't care whether they're comfortable or not. But giving them some sort of medicine wouldn't hurt. Sorry, what did you just do to that poor man? Is he okay? Oh, bolt up rifle. What did I do to that poor man? <laughs> what do we do here? Different milk to press in a cheese press. Different milks produce different cheeses. We've got milk. Weird milk, mechanoid milk, barefoot, barefoot milk, okay, from muffalo milk, muffalo chicken milk, chicken fallow milk, muffalo bear milk, wolf fallow milk, rat fallow milk, or cow morph milk. Um, and then we can pick the quality, so I assume the longer we age it, the better the cheese gets. Um, interesting, we could have the prisoners do this automatically. What milks do we have? Milk and cow morph milk. We need to say no more using milk in meals, and I'm also going to say no more drinking, drinking the fine milk. Um, Let's go ahead and just remove that. I need I need my milk stockpiles high and mighty ready for cheese production. Wow. Which one do you think will produce the... Oh! Wolfalo milk almost certainly makes hairy cheese. So if that's what we're gonna... If, if that's what we're aiming for, that's what we need to try and crossbreed first and foremost, right? Um, so no no milk here. No, no milk. If I untick that, and then we get rid of that, and then... Oh, it disables all animal products. Oh, that's a bit crap. Um, lavish meals allow all. Have what you want. Besides human meat. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a fair point. Um, let me just go ahead and redo that. Otherwise, our guests will complain. Our people won't be too bothered. But the guests won't be happy if they do end up eating some. And then... Uh, oh, animal products are disabled by default. Are they really? Oh, that makes my life easier. Okay, fine. Problem solved then. I've done a tiny bit of base tidying up here. Just getting some heaters down and stuff. Because we do have a cold snap that's kicked in currently. We're probably due a raid any second now. Just judging by 
the history, though we do have the Psychic Drone of the Cold Snap and the Foggy Rain all going on at once here, so that might have some impact. I want to deal with that Psychic Drone pretty soon, because it is seriously, seriously hurting, well, everything. Prisoners are constantly attacking one another. Oh, I turned up the prison, too. I removed the um, nutrient paste dispensers and crap now that we've given them. We've given them a stove, so... <laughs> <laughs> they can cook their own meals. I mean, I'm not going to feed them, but if they're willing to do it themselves, sod it. I mean, we'll get rid of the nutrient paste dispensers. Keep them a little happier there. Um, yeah, besides that, it's just been a little case of turning things up. But I want to work on pulse charge munitions for two reasons. Number one, like I was saying, the uh, the medium psychic drone is getting right on my nerves. And secondly, so is Discord, because they won't shut up about the fact that our guns are bad. So guns will be good. Psychic drone are dead. Everyone will be happy, except for the prisoners. They're never going to be happy. Speaking of which... Um, it occurred to me that in RimWorld, the way it works is the less limbs you have, the less you need to food, to, to eat, right? Or alternatively, the less you need to sleep. I don't really remember. Um, my point is we should pull enough off of this prisoner as possible. Oh, no. We could lobotomize her. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> well, let's pull as much off of you as possible so that she takes less to feed. Um, I want to, like, remove arms and stuff. Harvest. That's it. Sorry. Harvest. Here we are. Um, so she lost her leg. She lost her middle finger there. She lost her ear. That's causing a bit of pain, is it? You won't have to worry about that for long, my friend. So let's go ahead and take um, left eye, right eye, left ear. Uh, no, she doesn't need jaw. She does need, unfortunately. Her arms, those are uh, those are old. We don't need those anymore either. Can I take the other arm? We can't harvest it because it's got frostbitten right now. Um, she also got flu, which she somehow magically developed an immunity to. I don't know quite how bad it got there. Uh, a lot of our people had flu. That's one thing the game is throwing at us, and that is just constant bloody illness. What have we got here? Malaria. We've got, uh, obviously, flu on the other one. I think a lot of our prisoners got hit mostly, which is why it's not showing up here. Um, I think we lost a couple of prisoners to flu. Here we've got malaria. It's just insane. Like, Perry is really, really hammering us up with the diseases right now. I also put down just... Uh, I I'm, I'm giving them some tables here. I'm actually reinstalling the tables from the tomb because I thought that's kind of fun. They can have these old, kind of tainted, rusty old steel tables. Um, what I'm looking for is any sort of things that would give them a passive mood buff. Things like, um, oh, what is it under? Like, recreation, maybe? Things like, there we are, long wave radios. Those would be really good if we can put a couple of those in the prison. Let's put one, like, there and there. I should cover, actually, no, if we put it, like, there and, oh, it's not going to be even, no matter what I do. Okay, there and there, then. That's fine. Um, that should cover the most of the prison at that point, right? Yeah, because they'll meet in the middle. We won't, we, we'll kind of miss out on a tiny little block down here. Um, we could have it playing radios constantly while they try and sleep. That's pretty good for war crimes. I don't know if they can walk over them, though. That's the only problem. Well, to be fair, they're not going to need entertainment while they're asleep. Um, guess we'll give it to the prisoners. We could put a couple out here by the quarry as well. Keep their mood high. Look, the, the happier they are, the less they're going to rebel, the less they're going to kill each other, and the more war crimes we can commit. So I'm more than happy to, um, to just put down a bunch of radios if that's all it takes for them to be happy with vivisections and transformations. And lobotomies. <laughs> The thing as well, I, I completely neglected to actually put it in the mod pack this time, was uh, simple storage. Uh, so I've, I've thrown that one back into things because it is just really good. Um, particularly as we're getting a lot of crap. We've got a lot of mods that add a lot of things this time around. So we don't have, say, like, uh, save our ship that, you you know, adds just a, a few little... Um, I say a few little shit parts, but it keeps it kind of its own thing. Also, it's a building. Whereas we've got a lot of mods here that are adding an insane amount of modded stuff. All the different clothes, tools, weapons. Like, the majority of what we've got in the stockpile now is all modded gear. So we need some way to keep it all up together. So I'm thinking if we put a clothing rack um, for maybe tainted gear. I want to split this up a lot, actually. I've gone a little bit too hard on, uh, on, on mashing it all together. Anyway, we'll, we'll split all this up and um, get, it, get it all sorted properly. But just even having weapons locker or something like that would take out so much of the bloody bulk from the stockpile uh let's go ahead and put let's move this somewhere entirely this idea we'll turn this uh we'll turn the tomb into kind of a lab area now on the subject of that i've i've tried to build another one of these bloody dexterous arms remember we queued up four three of them have failed or, or two of them have failed maybe i took one away but something like that for whatever reason they're not maintaining the vat and I, I've, I've gone as far to set three of them to maintain that as their highest priority and it's just not working so we, i've got to be very careful about how we do it because of course we've only got limited nano mechanites and they're quite expensive so We'll give it one more go, but it's 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 not really going very smoothly here. They are supposed to do it automatically, but I think I'm going to have to just manually babysit it. And you see they're not actually filling it, too. I don't know what... 
I don't know what job counts as refuel. I know I've got everything set to priority one here, but to be honest, I'm not. I'm not against it. Um, yeah, I don't know what counts. Maybe it's like refuel. It's not going to be refuel though, is it? Because that, you know, that's a priority one as well. I, I don't know. Basically, I don't know why they're not. They're not fueling it automatically. So we do have another arm growing there. Right. You maintain that. Okay. See, maintenance is still twenty-one percent with scientist. Why? It's because she's not set to research. Well, she is though. Uh, already growing a recipe. No, 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 no. Maintenance twenty-one percent scientist. Well, that's bullshit. What are you talking about? Have oh, we got to have set? Maybe, maybe Zuck. Maybe Zuck can do it. Already maintaining that. Oh my god, is that it? So because she's set to... She can only do one or the other. So she's the doctor, so to speak, on this vat. And Zuck is the... Because she's not... Oh, weird. I don't know what's going on there. Where is Zuck? Is he too far away? See, by the time Zuck gets over here, it's going to be dead again. So let's stop him and see if we can get you to... Yes, yeah, go, go, go. Please be fast. 11%. 9%. Okay, we should be okay then. As long as we've got Zuck and Rubber Mummy working on it, it should be fine. That's the problem with having the prison so far. That's why I'm thinking we need to cut like a path that's so that's, that's much, much closer instead. I might actually do that. Again, cut straight through to here instead. And most sapients have dropped to the point where they're no longer considered a full colonist. Oh. Right. Okay. So so what happens now then? They're just uh What do you mean by that? Well they're quite clearly still a colonist, but Oh, can I not give them jobs? Maybe when I reload, they'll be removed from the colonist pool. Now, I actually asked this as a, as a question on last episode in the comments section. I said, what about turning the hellhounds into more uh, illithids? Because we can implant the tadpoles into, um, into animals, or I believe some of the animals at least. And these ones we can. We can also brand them as a slave, which is fucked. Um... Now, I, I said, what about turning them both? Somebody said, just turn one of them into... <laughs> into a colonist because I think it's really funny to have one of our squid people running around born of a hellhound which has a sentient sister still existing they're both female too I wonder if that affects the gender of the illithid oh no they they, they are they are genderless in that situation okay fair enough um okay I'm I wouldn't be against turning Cambo into a full-blown colonist Bear in mind that their, their, their mind is starting to become more and more animal. We can kind of save them now. What about Zheng Hao? How are you doing? Former human. You're still sapient, so you're still fully intelligent. Um, I could be persuaded. I just think it's hilarious to have one of our prisoners walking around whose brother is a dog. <laughs> oh. Good God. Did you hear that? With that, with the hammer? Oh, that's fucked. <laughs> Oh, that's so fucked. <laughs> not, not, there's no, like, surgical procedure. You know, we're not carefully opening. Oh, my God, she just hit her with wood. You're kidding me. <laughs> she just beat a pregnant lady in the head until she got brain damage. That's so fucked. Oh, man. All right, little Cambo. Let's see what happens then. We're going to turn you from... You've been turned from... I don't know, human reborn in a hellhound form. Now being t slowly losing your sapience and transforming you into... This is probably the kindest thing we've done the entire game. And I think that says a lot. We, we, we're saving your sapience at the cost of turning you into a filthy squid creature. Man. And it, they just transform into a full-blown squid? Oh, I guess we'll find out soon. It seems to take longer. Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. No, that's not maintained. <laughs> A new name is Worm Turner. An incredible name for an incredible person. What are they What are they good at here? Um, Worm Turner, excuse me. 6.2 cooking, 3.47 animals with a double passion. Really does seem appropriate. Double passion, sorry, single passion in shooting, I quite like, and, and good crafting. Oh, that's nice. Big fan of that one. Putting on the human leather maid dress, which is phenomenal. What else have we got here? High expectations. That's fair enough. Um, two quadrums, xenophobe, cannibal butcher. Oh! I couldn't have asked for anybody more perfect. What does Butcher do? Cooking two. Butcher efficiency 20%. Butcher speed 30%. They get their... Uh, oh, they're slower at shredding mechanoids? Oh. Oh, there you are. It's only only if it's good at dealing with animal corpses. It's terrible at mechanoids. I guess that's a balancing feature. Wow. We've got to put you in charge of cooking. We've got to put you in charge of cooking, Worm Turner. My hellhound turned squid friend. Especially with a double passion too. And they're not much worse. 6 out of 20 versus 11 out of 20. Okay. They're quite bad compared to our current one. But I don't really think that's too much of a too much of a loss there, to be honest. 
Um, let's go ahead and set that to the highest priority. And let's go ahead and set everybody to growing. Mining, I'm not really super concerned about. Although, if I designated it, sure, why not? Quarrying, I want to take everybody but Robo Mummy off of quarrying. We've got much better backup jobs to do, like hauling, for example, is, is a pretty good one there. Um, and you're also a really good crafter, so let's also put you on the crafting squad. Wow. This is one series where we've got a lot of crafters and no good builders, in complete contrast to last series. We had a shitload of builders and no crafters. Zeng now is having a tantrum. This happened because my sibling was turned into a squid. Happens to the best of us. Really happens the best of us. 2020 strikes again. <laughs> <laughs> Worcester sauce just sits there playing a piano. Can we make that out of human bone? Sorry to, to go on a bit of a tangent there. Um, like a. Oh, you've you've never said anything that's more appealing to me. Oh my god! Talk about tinkling the ivories. <laughs> Piedmont. What the hell happened to Piedmont? Piedmont died. Geneva suggested internal conflict. Someone cut its neck during execution. Who executed Piedmont? And Wog 3? I guess somebody probably went on a mental break and maybe went on animal slaying. I didn't even see it happen. It couldn't, it couldn't be one of the prisoners. Maybe Piedmont was in the prison and one of the prisoners freaked out. God, I have no idea. I wish I knew what happened there so we could avenge Piedmont. Or eat Piedmont, depending on the situation. Hey, cold snap server. Okay, that's great. We can get back on the... How are we looking for food, though? Um, we've got plenty of corn. Plenty of psychoid. Squash and pumpkins. Oh, man, we've got maybe a little bit too much corn there, to be honest with you. How are the prisons doing? Is the prison decently warm? It is? Well, that doesn't seem very war crimes. Uh, uh. Let's optimize things up a little bit, because it's going to take bloody ages. I I'm trying to do everything I can to keep people as happy as possible before we go off and deal with this mechanoid cluster that's uh, that's producing the psychic drone. So I've got, like, convenience things like the cord refrigerator down there. Um, worms cooking just as many meals as we can churn out. Uh, they've, they've actually dug the... Um, They've dug the path over to the prison. I actually much prefer that to the to the walk along the beach. So that's going to be kind of helpful when we've got that down. Again, a little less convenient for dragging prisoners over. But there's no reason to say we couldn't, like, put on a little triage center here or something like that. So the plan is right now, I think I'm just going to send four of them. So Robo Mummy, I equipped with the charge rifle we got out of here. Obviously, that's good armor penetration. We've got a core launcher coming in. Now, the core launcher is... A weapon specifically designed to destroy droids. 100% armor penetration. Um, apparently, it fires superheated bolts of plasma that, uh, that have an explosive call that explode on impact. Very explosive. Uh, that comes with a couple of charge shotguns. Those have 45% armor penetration apiece. We should be in a situation where we can... Infinity RPM. Oh, it's a sniper rifle. Got it. Um, we should be in a situation where we could do some damage to the mechanoids. I'd love to get some better armor churn out too. I guess we could always churn out some... Oh, how do we make that um, battle made armor? Where was that? Uh, battle... What the hell was that? Was it Taylor Bench, really? Battle... Oh, there it is. Yeah. Moving speed 1. That's actually really good. And then minus 20% aiming time. I mean, that would be better than just the regular dresses we've got them in. I could do with that. The only thing we need is Devil Strand. And the problem with it, of course, is that we can't make it out of people. I think what I'm going to do is let's shrink down this zone. Oh, good. Yep. <laughs> That's where I was drawing the paths in the sand. Uh, let's go shrink this down a little bit then. Uh, go something like that and cut you down too. Uh... Is that a little bit over the top? No, I think that's probably fine. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and just expand this zone out to fill in this area there. So all of that will be Devil Strand. I think what I'm going to do is is probably turn these into Devil Strand as well for the time being. Because they're, they're, they're relatively protected. Ironically enough, the prison is probably the safest place for plants to be right now. Oh, shit, we can't. Balls, because it's a planter. Damn it, okay. How embarrassing for those prisoners, though, huh? Embarrassing is the wrong word. Uh, fucking terrifying is probably the right word. You just come out here one day, you get to work, cut your stone bricks, and you see... That's it. It's your friend Steve's corpse. Tied up to an irrigator, stuffed and taxidermied, pissing blood on plants. That you're then gonna eat. Or get healed with. <laughs> oh. Shit. Oh my god. <laughs> um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's gonna be eight versus eight, and we're wearing human leather maid dresses, and they are probably, hopefully not, wearing cataphract armor. 
You son of a bitch. <laughs> no! You can't! Oh my god, there's two of them! Oh shit, this could be like a real game over scenario, I won't lie. Um, Worcester Sauce is out of the picture. Zheng Hao is uh, a dog, so I'm not going to rely on you too much. Fuck. Oh, this is horrible. Okay, um, so I think I think divide and conquer is really our only way forward here. I think we need to bait these guys out, force them into an attack, deal with those ones first, and then... S because also the, the turrets aren't going to be able to hit these ones, right? We need to take these ones out. Um... Give me, give me, give me a robo mother. Give me a robo mother. Bait them out. You know what? It looks as if they might be. Are they just going to smash something? They're just wandering. Okay, okay. Surprise, motherfucker. Okay, run, run. Shooting level nineteen. Okay, that's what we like to see. Well, that was a tactical uh, gaining shooting level. Just do what damage you can. Do what damage you can. Don't let the man with the charge lance shoot you, because it will instantly kill us. That was some that was some premium slaying there, Robo Mummy. Much appreciated. Okay. Um, who has the shotguns? You guys are at the top row. That needs to happen. You guys are on the top row. Come on. We're not gonna punch through Cataphract Armor, I don't think. Nope, the bullets are just bouncing straight off. Okay, pull back. Get behind something here. You come down here. Um, spread you guys. Oh, no, it's not going to be enough, is it? I don't think we're going to have enough room for all of our people. Um, oh, what was that? Oh, it was a turret. I genuinely thought it shot a robot mummy there. <laughs> Maybe with all of them pounding at the same time. Just seriously pounding it. We might eventually get through. We might just break his armor. Okay. Um, shooter 96%. Weapon 66. Weather 50%. Oh, yikes. Cover is 85%. So when it says shot by robot money, 27%, is that 27% da damage? I don't know quite what that breaks down to, to be honest with you. That's okay. Right, let's see what's going on then. Just maybe the sniper turrets could break through. Maybe. Maybe they could burst through. Or maybe they'll get destroyed uh, before we even get a chance to fight the other ones. Maybe that's more likely. Please shoot them. Fucking hell, this is unbelievable. We've got this many people firing shots and none of them are fucking hitting. You people are a joke. You people are a joke. Right, move forward. Move forward. Oh, but it's raining. Oh, I'm sorry. You might as well just roll over and fucking die then, huh? Get out. Get in there. Good lord. Do you want to commit war crimes? This isn't a Sunday school, people. Get in there. Shit. Okay, you one turner. Come closer. Okay, move up, move up, move up. We've done some damage. We've, we've bruised him. We've actually bruised him. On the plus side, if he's going to sit there and kick the shit out of that sniper, when it blows up, it might take him down too. There's a bloody battle rifle there. Armor penetration? 18%. Not a chance. Just keep going. Ah, oh, hello, Zheng Hao. Yeah, uh, get indoors. <laughs> Feeling depressed. <laughs> right, okay. Alternatively, we get in there with a pickaxe and we pull his armor off of him. Who else has a pickaxe? Go. Get him. Get in. Get in. Actually, stand there. That way you might be less likely to be shot by our people. Rip him apart. Go. Rip him apart. Bring him down. Shit. It's not working. We are stacking up a lot of damage. <gasps> Who did that? A sniper turret actually punched through. Strip him. Strip him. Is it biocoded? Oh, oh, keys to the kingdom, boys. You don't even deserve to go in my prison. You had cataphract armor and you lost to a bunch of squid people wearing human leather maid dresses. You are you are inferior. You will you will die on that floor, my friend. Look at her eyes. Oh my god, that is ominous. Robo kid, you did you did good. You did good, kid. Don't get cocky. Okay. The dress comes off. The apron's coming off now, boys. <laughs> um, here they, oh, okay. Here they come. Did we lose any? We, well, snipers are actually doing all right. I assume this one's... That one's taken a little bit of a hit. Maybe a little bit more than I'd like. If we can get some repair on that before they get over here. Oh, look at this. Equip that too. Good shit. Squad, you might as well grab that gun link, brother. That skull mask is not going to stop any, any Empire tier weaponry. It's, and, and we might as well get the, the bonuses from the gun link. Right, keep repairing that. Robo Mummy, 
Just get into position anywhere, really. Doesn't matter. Okay, okay, okay. How are we looking? We've got five more. That was the easy part. <laughs> um, and there are two in Cat's Threat Armor coming up here, right? Damianus also has a rocket launcher. A Fokos. Osmir. Oh, no, they haven't got Cat's Threat Armor. But they do have recon armor and danger weapons. Okay, okay, how are we looking? Good work, squad. Good work, good work, good work. Right, right, right. Get back over here. Squad up. Agnes, you lie there and think about what you've done. <laughs> Kegfit just milked herself <laughs> in the middle of a battlefield. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. My udders are a tad full. That's not weird at all. Thank you, Kegfit. Completely inappropriate. Okay. Ah. Well, that lasted long. My power cables. That was the only way we can punch through their armor. I think we're going to have to try and get a retreat. I think we're going to have to try and get a retreat. If this guy gets within range, he's just going to blow us away. We need to try and force him to, to, to surrender here. Just, just get him fleeing. Come on. Even their recon armor is disgustingly strong. Look at this. Fuck, Zuck. I'm so sorry. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Okay. All of you focus on that one. You guys shoot him. You guys shoot him. You guys shoot him. Robo Mummy will deal with Osmir. Because Robo Mummy is probably the only one that can deal with Osmir. Bring him down. Oh, that's what we like to see. We've got ourselves a oh, bio-coded mono. So get out of here. Right, now shoot this one. And there's only one left. Oh! What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Melee. Melee? Melee. Get in there. Hit him over the head. Give me an axe. Hit him. Kill him. Shoot her. Please, 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 please. No, my people. My people. Run. 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 Well, I mean, credit to Molag. Took a fucking rocket on the chin. Completely unfazed by it. Oh, the shell. Neve, on the other hand, um, not doing so well. Not doing so well, I will admit. Give him hell, boys. Give him hell. Bring him down. You know what? Bring him down, boys. <laughs> Get in there. Melee weapons at the ready. Or, or don't. Or don't. Sorry. Melee weapons at the ready. Go. Go. Death by a thousand cuts. Actually, swamp him first. Go, go take him down first. Yeah. You die. Stop shooting, Robo Kid! Fucking hell! Right, get in melee. Oh my god, Kekvit, you shit. Maybe melee was a bad idea. Maybe melee was a bad idea. Maybe we were doing better beforehand, huh? 20 condition knee tending. We've just. It's the only way we can bring this guy down is just stacking it up and hoping he drops. Fuck, this guy's gonna kill. Okay, Molag. Run and gun, fella. Run and gun. No, you're running and gunning at the wrong. I was going to say he's running and gunning at the wrong person, but how I have lied to you all. Strip da Damianus. Oh, the revenge of Molag. Molag is, is top tier. That was some fucking fine shooting. Took a rocket launcher to the chin and went beast mode. That was honestly phenomenal. That was incredible. Let's get them stripped. This is this is some valuable gear. Um, squid, deal with a Fokos. Uh, Robo Mummy, maybe save... Neve or Kekvit, one or the other. How's Kekvit doing? Four hours. Worm Turner's eight hours. Zuck is three hours. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get yourselves tended up. Get yourselves tended up. Frog! Frog was coming to save them. Fucking Frog. Right, go home. Get yourself tended up. Oh, this is, this is diabolical. We might still... We might still lose some people here. Shit. It's all down to Robo Mummy's deft hands. Mm. What little lassie? Tennington, look, 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 we're gonna have to just go doctor care. We we literally do not have the time. Okay, go for it. How's Kekvit doing? Three hours. Kekvit comes first. Okay, go, 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 go. Uh, tend. Molag, just go lie down. Seriously, sort yourself out. Zuck, two hours. Shit. All right, let me juggle these guys. It shouldn't really be a problem because we've got hours and hours to tend to them. I'm, I'm actually gonna really really go sweaty mode here. Hold on. Seven, six, five. How are you looking? Four. How are you looking? Four conditions need tending. Is everybody saved? Oh, Worm Turner. Fuck. Worm we might lose if we're not careful. 
Okay, who's next on triage? Five hours, four hours, five hours. Let's see if we can get squad fully tended. No, 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 no. You misunderstand me. Let's see if we can get squad fully tended. Okay, come on. Come on. How's worm? Five hours. Four hours. Five hours. Neve up next. Go. Oh, I think he's done it. Oh, there we go. Hey, not a problem, huh? Just a casual run-in with cataphracts. Not a not a problem. It's the it's the human leather maid dress, you see. It's the human leather maid dress. Never stood a goddamn chance. More importantly, now we've got sets of recon armor, which aren't very war crimes, but allow us to commit war crimes in from the safety of, uh, well, armor. We've got ca another set of cataphract armor, which I think we have to give to Molag, true hero of the, of the, of the situation. Really, probably just fucking save the colony single-handedly, if I'm going to be honest with you. That was a phenomenal performance. Now we're going to swap them all back over to the best medicine. If they get infections, if they need re- Tending for whatever reason, we can go back to herbal for a little while. Wow, this has been this has been a heavy one today. That was that was a that was a hit. Uh, is anybody okay? What's the source? I'm just gonna get you capturing everybody then, huh? We've actually got a couple of survivors. Oh, f I'm not happy about that. <laughs> I'm not happy about that at all. The fact that it costs mechanites to build the fucking thing. Get out. <laughs> You shit. Okay, okay, okay. Let's not worry about it for now, okay? It's just an unfortunate roll of the dice that, you know, we need to maintain it. It creates very, very powerful organs. It takes many days to do it, but you get very powerful things out of it. That's that's the balancing feature. It was just a coincidence that we have to get ready by the Empire at the same time. Nothing we can really do to help that, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sweat that one too much. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and other arm. Thank you, much appreciate. Oh, another ear, too. You're not allowed to hear things. Get out of here with that. 100% um, consciousness. Oh, this. This alone. Just <laughs> These things together are really not okay. That That is enough war crime to make up for the rest of this episode. Which, to be fair, it's been quite war crime lacking. No, I'm pretty sure I committed war crimes. I mean, yeah, this is pretty bad too. So now, we hit the Empire hard. I, I, want, I want revenge for that. I want revenge. The Empire are about the only ones that can probably stop us, truly. Sure, the tribal raiders could send in a thousand people, and then we just watch as they turn helplessly into dogs and cats and horses and uh, giant men. But the Empire are the ones that could really fuck us up. That and pirate bands are, are a real big concern. Let's leave it there for today. Tomorrow, we'll go a bit more heavy on the war crimes. It's been very light on that. And again, I, I can only apologize profusely. Uh, but you can blame bureaucracy that is the Empire not being particularly happy with our human experiments, which is reasonable i guess only they're allowed to do human experiments apparently thank you to teabag cruise here we go again 46 psycho fear for dama bob steak and bacon akins holy reapers alex galliber fire scream juncture on ben dpb justin rule zulu chax jt 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 jess udrick and everyone else at the executive producer tears over on coffee for the final little bit of coffee here thank you to you guys for your support and keeping the channel going and a continuous continued thank you to Zaka, KQ the Magic Velociraptor, Trevor Brooks, Cyric 313, Corrupt Racer, Hazel, KG Evans, Matteo, Electric Alice, Karsten, Vuoxa, Telkus 345, Jack Black Sheep, Eckle, Cakes, Hero Club, Shatulski, Archbishop, and Blood Riot 2 for their support. Wow, that was, that was actually quite intense there for a second.